In this presentation, we'll be looking at solving for impedance. Um, impedance would be the total opposition to current flow in a, an AC circuit. In this case, it is a series RL circuit where we have one resistor and one inductor in series with the power source. And unlike DC circuits, the oppositions to current flow, in this case the 48 ohms of resistance and the 28.26 ohms of inductive reactance cannot simply be added together. The resistance is in phase with the applied voltage and the inductive reactance is 90 degrees different. So we're going to have to use Pythagorean's theorem in order to add those values together. The adjacent side of the triangle the side being adjacent to angle theta is the resistive side of the triangle and the resistance in this case is 48 ohms of resistance and the opposite side of the triangle um, is the reactive side of the triangle and in this specific circuit is inductive reactance and the value of inductive reactance is 28.26 ohms and in order to solve for the hypotenuse, or Z, in this case, which is impedance, we're going to use Pythagorean's theorem. Now, Pythagorean's theorem is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, or the value of C, the hypotenuse, is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. We're just substituting in different letters, Z being the impedance, which would be C, and um, a, a and B can be the other two sides of the triangle. So Z is equal to the square root of R squared plus X of L squared. So that's going to be 48 squared plus 28.26 ohm squared. Solving for that value would be a total of 55 0.7 ohms of impedance and that is the total opposition to current flow in this specific um, circuit and this would be the impedance triangle that we built.